I'm going to show you how to set up uh, terrain backgrounds in F5. By default, uh, when you first start the program, this is the way it looks. And as you can see, there's no, uh, no background. It's just a, a brown solid color right now. And we want to change that to, uh, to see the, the elevation and the, the trees and forests and mountains and things like that. To do that, you just go up to the standard overlays icon and down at the bottom you have a button that says terrain. Uh, initially the set terrain button is disabled so you have to check the terrain and, uh, and then s uh, push the button that says set terrain. Now on this screen you'll see uh, several options. You can select from terrain backgrounds that we already have uh, available to you or you can set your own image. To set your own image you need to have the coordinates of the image, the the edges of the image, the northern latitude, southern latitude, western longitude, and eastern longitude. Uh, and the image needs to be in a BMP format. But you, I mean this could be a map, it could be uh, a picture of Mickey Mouse, it could be anything you wanted uh, as a background. Now again, you don't need to deal with any of that if you just want to select one of our designated images that we already have for you. Uh, to select one of these images, it's going to take quite a while to download the image. These images are not packaged with F5 because each image is huge. And since you know a good percent of people don't want a background, and the percent that do want a background, we don't know exactly which one you wanted, in order to save uh, time overall for people and not package all of these uh, into the software, we made it so that when you come in here and to select one, it downloads it off of our server. Now, it'll only do, do the download process once. So let's say we wanted this image. I just hit select, and it tells you that the background is 25 and a half megabyte in size, and it's going to take a long time to download. Do you want to proceed with that? Yes. Now, at the bottom of the screen here, it says connecting, it says downloading. This may take a few minutes, 3%, 4% down here in the lower right, and then a progress bar. So this takes a while, and you have to be patient with this initial download. But once that image is on your computer, uh, you don't have to go through this download process again. You, you have it on your computer, you can turn that background on and off at your leisure and you don't have to wait for that anymore. The download is completed and now a window comes up and says that the, the background has been installed but you need to restart the software before it will take effect. Would you like to restart now? We'll just say yes. All right, and my, uh, my software is restarted now, and now you can see the background that I chose. It's all ready to go and load it up. Now, sometimes when you do this, uh, you may not see the background. It might look something like that. And that's just because one of your layers is on top of it, and you might have to play around with that. Um, depending on uh, what you have checked here, that can, that can cause that to happen. So, and then now if you want to turn your train off, you can just click this and that'll shut it off. And then now watch how easy it is to turn it back on again. You just check that again. It takes a second, but it redraws. And you don't have to go through that whole download process anymore. Now, I'll just show you an example here. We'll just zoom in and I'll show you what the train looks like. You can see here in California, it's, it's really great. Zoom in a little more. The detail is great. Let's look over here. This feature right here is Death Valley. Once you get zoomed in beyond a certain point, it starts to get pixelated because we are using an image. Um, so uh, the quality is only going to be so good to a certain point, but uh, I think it's pretty good. And now all of the different train backgrounds, they vary slightly in uh, their quality, so you have to play around with them. Uh, again, whenever you select a new one, you'll have to download it. So if I were to select, I don't know, this brown one over here, 
I'd have to download it again and wait and go through that whole waiting process again. But let's say I wanted to switch back to this one that I already downloaded. As soon as I hit select, it'll uh, choose that one and it'll be uh, quick and easy. You will have to reboot it if you change your background. Um, I'm not actually changing it, so I'm not going to reboot it, but uh, you won't have to go through the download process again.